Hi guys, today I'm going to look at the territory, the new game mode that just started. I have not started it, I just wanted to start it with you. I only, when you begin, you have uh, to set a name, it's one of the random generals. And then if you click on it, you can change the banner. So uh, I took England, the profile photo, I took my favorite general, Richard, and the frames, uh, the most are locked, so you can start only with the three. Then you start with the, that's your territory, one city, <clears throat> and the city produces gold, as you can see, and if you click, you collect real gold that goes into your treasure. You can start with the city deploying, <clears throat> you have four generals, as you can see, I have uh, already deployed the first one. With the, the <clears throat> To deploy a general, you must have in the castle, as a reminder, you need to have uh, troops adjoined to the general as an escort. So that's important. <clears throat> then, before you go into battle, let's say around the, the triumphs and bounties are the normal screen. I don't know why they're there. <clears throat> this is your inventory. You start with a wooden castle. <clears throat> we'll see later on how to use it. Then your castle is here where all your generals are. See, these are my generals. And then these are your normal items and war gear. Again, I don't know why they're there. It's not useful. Then you have the battle. <clears throat> we will see this in a while, in a moment, when you start fighting other online players. Then we go in the usual city screen. And you see the city can be upgraded up to level 15. And same for the fortification houses. And then you have here, instead of the usual uh, <clears throat> industry production, you have a warehouse. Because the city produces coin, time-based, uh, time you see now I'm producing the second coin, and then you click, you can collect it. The warehouse allows you to stock more coins, because you, know, you don't play online uh, <clears throat> all the time. You, you are disconnected, but they are, the city continues to produce gold. Okay, so a good way to start is upgrading your warehouse. Now I can retain up to 1,580 coins. I will also, of course, invest in the city. If you upgraded the territory, sorry, not the city, the city, the city durability improves. You can have uh, more legions, and then you can have, uh, in this case, improve the fortification up to level two, the warehouse up to level two, the other level two. And you have to castle. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And I will, since I have more money, uh, here also it's important you need these special coins. That's the new one. I don't know how they're called, but yes. But also, here yeah, look at the triumph because you have a lot of territory specific triumphs. Eagle coins. Okay, that's what you need to upgrade the territory. So I'm gonna claim that. Great. And then look at the, the the triumphs that you have. Some are very easy. Let's see, for example, uh, the Archer Tower. I don't have, I have a castle, though. So I should upgrade the territory and I should upgrade the castle. But let's start with the upgrading again the, the city one more time. OK, because I, I level it to level 3. I will spend the money in the fortification because it doesn't cost really eagle coin. And then I will invest in the warehouse. Now I can keep up to 2,900 coin, one more. Gold production per minute. Let's upgrade that. And at the beginning of this game, it's always smarter to invest up front. And then wooden fence fortification. Okay, I'll take that. There you go. I have used most of my coins. Now I have already level three territory. Okay, but eight coins in my pocket. Then we have the war gear. You have a hundred points. I already equip my Richie with the, um, the medical tent. Level two recovers ten percent troops. Then well, that's the info your general. Withdraw, you can remove the general and add a new one. And then attack, you have three modes for the general, attack, defense, 
and patrol. And uh, to, to be honest, I have no idea what they are. I will figure it out together. So let's go into battle. Let's see. You need to be online to play. Okay, I'm playing a random player, Thomas of Adana. He is uh, stronger than me. He has 15,800 points. I only have 9,900. And you can do a certain number of battles per day. It's a bit like arena challenge in a great conqueror room. Let's see, battle record, 40 times. And then you get the daily rewards if you win. And then here on the deadline, 2,206 season, deadline 8 o'clock, 1st of July. My points, if you have points or pass, diamond. Okay, these are the awards you get. You get a wonder. So with the first turn, you get uh, coins if you surpass 1,000 points. Okay, let's see. Let's play. Let's see. This guy is better than me. There's a point. Ah, okay, I can deploy my unit. I have six generals I can deploy. I think I'm going to massacre this guy. Let's see, I have my Knights Templar, which are massive butt kickers. And then I'm going to put my top archers here. And then, supported by a strong infantry, I think not more than Belisarius. And then I'm going to equip the guys. So I'm not clear. Here in battle, you can use as usual like you would do with the hero legend. What equipment do you put on your generals? <clears throat> Think of which uh, unit is uh, most aggressive against them. And then you use the, in the for example, for, um, for the cavalry, they are uh, most impacted by defense infantry. So I put the gear they reduce the damage from infantry. That's how you do it. In this case, I need to conquer some cities, so I also have attack units. So I'm going to put the catapult. <laughs> and then for archery, the enemy also is mostly infantry and archery, no cavalry. So there is no need to invest much in cavalry units. So in my archery, I'm going to put the siege tower. And for the other one, I'm going to put the Ballista, Iron Ballista, yeah. And then for infantry, normally infantry just should protect from cavalry, but there's not much cavalry. Said so infantry benefits from the battery ram, the rhinoceros. Yes, that's a better. Okay, let's kick butt. Hi there, I'm here to invade you. How's it going? Yeah, I'm gonna make it now the Mafalda move. Okay, one of the first units is gone. Yeah, Thomas Vadana, I'm very sorry, but you are no match for me. I'm gonna massacre you. I'm the mighty war emperor. There's not much you can do for against me. Justinian. Justinian, I only use it in conquest. It's quite. Uh, Average is not general in combat. Okay, unless there are some surprise troops appearing. I think my Peros of Acronion is going to win in two turns.
Yeah, I mean, we have done, I just need to kill by the silence here, and then we're done. Maybe even this turn. Yep. Done. Okay, so we won. What happens now? Okay, we have another player for battles. Oh, and then you click here, you get your reward, the other one wants. And now I can do it again. Let's see in the meantime if anything is battled here. Then understand if I'm in attack, in patrol or defense mode, what does it change? Let's try, let's put defense. If I do the battle, maybe this time I need to defend. I think that's what it is. Battle record 50 times. I have four points. And I need to do at least 1,000, it's a lot. Nope, same stuff. And also the same general that I deployed before, so you can still click withdraw and change it. Let's see, here's a Saladin, a Belisarius, Robin Hood, a Nat, Hetius, and Nuruddin. Okay, still no match for the guys. It's convenient only to every time to equip my generals. See the gears are already the same as before. Okay. I can reach I choose. Always I use the general skills. <clears throat> for a boost of uh, points. See this here, the skill on the bottom right. But don't put your general close to the enemy if you cannot attack. Because the counter attack would be brutal. Okay. So, let's go. Yes, two castles. I need to reach it as much you can do. It's not cavalry against uh, infantry against cavalry, there's no game at all. Then attack Saladin is a tough one. Let me protect my flank. Okay, so this is and I kill Salad in here in one shot. Take the city. And I think it's done. Okay, so we got other four points, and then <clears throat> win two times, click it, battle record 52 times. What does this mean? Opponent country. Ah, that's, I see, this is a battle record of my opponent, so he won 52 times. But, many failed. Hmm. Interesting. So you can rewatch your opponent matches, is there? I still have three battles I can do today. Uh, also, you see, by winning, you accumulate coins. So let's see, let's go back to the city. I need 15 to upgrade the city and I cannot do anything else. Now, I cannot move this guy. How can I move him? I can build the castle, okay, let's try that. Wooden fence. OK, 
Okay. And you can pull down if you change something. So I'm gonna pull it. I said I'm gonna put this here. Ah, uh, you get ninety percent of resources back. Okay, let's leave it there. I'm gonna build the castle here. To protect my city. Yeah, I guess what happens is it, when you are attacked by the other online players, <clears throat> then you need to be in, uh, that's what happens. So I will be in attack mode. When you're attacking, you know, the AI plays for you, of course, you cannot defend, but you can tell the general if he's in attack mode or not. Okay, so you guys got the the approach. Uh, I don't think I need to play more games. It will become boring. I will just uh, upload some battles that is for fun. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful and I will add some comments. I'm sure as a player will find out more tips to share with you. Take care and don't forget to subscribe.